Joe Wood is up guys. I am Zizi Goblin and welcome back to a little bit of a vlog. Today is actually day 82 of my 90 day challenge app thing that I tried that uh, the, the YouTuber Brownie and the blue shirt guy Arjun released on day 82 in and I thought why don't I show you guys how I do it when I'm not at the gym because today is a pool day and I'm gonna do it at home so strap in grab your popcorns and get along first of all we have to launch the 90 day challenge app and as you can see I have skipped this right here upper body lower body because Christmas time and we have been sick in the flu and corona and all that but yesterday I did push workout but today it's pull workout and today we're gonna start with barbell rows I don't have a barbell so I actually use dumbbells but it does the job then after that we have some lat pull downs and I actually superset exercise 1, 2 then 3 and 4 and then 5 and 6 but yeah lat pull downs and then we go on with one arm dumbbell rows then we do some pull-ups after that we do some dumbbell bicep curls and after that we do some reversed grip lat pull downs and then we do some cold cool down and that's today's agenda so let's get right into it and start up with some warm-up just like so we're gonna Start to warm up. That was the full upper body warm up. Okay, so now here we are with the dumbbell bent over row. Actually, need to pause. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're ready. I'm gonna take my dumbbells. And then I just get down, and then we have and then after we're done with that, I get down and I do lap pull downs with these. Right. Get down. And in position, and then and then we just repeat the cycle. And that was fifteen dumbbell rows. And 15 lat pull downs and that's the first set of four on these exercises I sped up the exercise I had it like 
two times the speed or something. But I do this. I take my pull up bar. And I take this. Sometimes I do it the other way. And I take these. And one lighter and one heavier. And I put these on. I'm gonna put you on the floor. I put these on like this. Just like so. And then I'm gonna show you. I actually I actually do it like this. But today I felt like doing it the other way. I take this. This thing is actually for painting. You put a paint roller on here and then you like. But then I take this, go through, and then just like so. But today I felt like more of a free motion. So that's how I do it when I'm at home. So let's speed through the rest of it and I will see you when it's time for dumbbell rows. And, all, and as always, drink your water. It's very important. And when I do these exercises, I actually do it like in sets of... Most of them are four sets. But the reps, first set, 15 reps, second, 12. Third, ten, and fourth, ten as well. Unless it's with the resistant bands, then I do fifteen all the time. But I go, as you skimmed through the last little time lapse, shh, little time lapse there, you saw that I, with this, I added this, and for the Third, I add the blue, and for the fourth, I add both of them, and that's how I, how I do my lat pull downs. And then, when it's time for dumbbell rows, I actually use my eight kilogram kettlebell and the edge of the sofa. So I'm setting that up right now. Because I have two sets left, and now we go. Number four. The biggest downside of doing this at home is actually the limit that I have on the weight. 
Because these, I don't really know what the, the bar weighs, but the weight of this is around seven and a half kilos. And when I'm at the gym, I actually pyramid it up in weight and for three sets. And the fourth set is always a drop set. So that's the biggest downside and like lat pull downs and stuff like that. But now we're gonna move over to dumbbell rows. The, yeah, I showed you. And then I believe it's bicep curls. I don't have it in my head, but I'm gonna fill in my results and all the weights and got to the dumbbell rows. Well, I was wrong. There was dumbbell rows, one armed dumbbell rows followed by pull ups. Now, I can't really do many pull ups, but every pull up I do, it's a win. And so I can maximize and do more pull ups. Because the pull up exercise is actually actually only three sets. So I'm gonna get a little bit of a rest in between. Still kind of super setting, but just a little breather in between. So one armed dumbbell rows. Here we go. And when you're out of water, we'll go get some more. Now we're gonna continue on with bicep curls and then reversed grip lat pull downs. I'm doing the, the same way I did the lat pull downs, but reversed grip. Now, have some more water. Cheers. And when I do my bicep curls, I always stand in front of this dirty old mirror. So I can see when the biceps is contracted and stretched out and all of that jazz. Because that I don't freebie like all of the other when I and I'm feeling it in my back and stretching the movement. I want to see it. There's just something with the old bicep curl. <sighs> Let's go.
just like so. All of the workout is done. And I finished it off for my own sake, just to see a little bit more of the muscles without my tank top. But now we have to do something about this. I have to plow. We do we need to do our cooldown. So cut to that clip right now. Now we do the cooldown. Now we'll start it right now. Time lapse. There we go, that's all. I just sent the last clip where I had no tank top on to a good friend and I just realized why didn't I film from day one? This is day 82! And uh, I have been sick recently in the flu and like two weeks before that I had corona I had corona was home for about a week worked for about a week then I came home and I got the flu and uh, I missed a lot of training but the flu and corona actually helped me to reach my weight goal goal now when i'm back at full power eating again uh, i have about one and a half two kilos on at night back to my weight goal but i have hit it and um, on screen right now you have a picture of me here i have a knitted shirt that my mom knitted to me a few years ago and recently I stood right here in this room and this shirt fit I'll show you the picture put it on screen right now there you go and as you can see on the first picture that was the day I got it. I, I'm not quite sure about the weight on that picture on the dot, but that was my all time high weight 103.6 kilos. And on the other picture, on the right hand, or Beside it, you see it says 74 kilos. I tried to recreate the pose, but as you can see, my goal was 75 kilos, and on that way in, I was 74.2 kilos. And now we're back up and down, up and down a little bit, depending on how much. I have eaten during the day. Today I haven't eaten anything else but two sandwiches or breakfast bread in form of, as you can see, I will but get it up in form of this. Two of these I have eaten with a little bit of cheese. Uh, don't blame me, it's Christmas, Christmas time and all, so I can have a little bit of cheese. But I will actually weigh myself right now, so you can see. It says 76.3 kilos. So, there you go, there you have the weigh-in for today with breakfast and about 2 liters of water. 
and you have 76.3 I think it said I have already forgot but 76 point something and we're almost in gold then you just need to transform all of this belly fat and all the fat percentage into muscle and that's the next gold so somewhere around 80 kilos strictly muscle that's the end goal right now Well, it's been a while since the last clip that was the time lapse, but we've been out to my mother, and when I got back, I had a little bit of a package in my in my mailbox, and this a new water tank that I ordered for our uh, for our. Uh, Vacuum cleaner. So finally, I think we should be able to mop the floors again. Because the old one stopped working. But now, we can see. I'm gonna test it right away. Well, it was a little janky of getting there, but... Now well, let's see if it's actually mopping. I think it's... No. Well, time will tell. 's having a little bit... And I'm thinking about getting a vacuum cleaner that vacuums the vacuum cleaner. Okay, so it's uh, bedtime here now. So I'm gonna end this video hope you guys enjoyed my 90 day challenge day 82 training tomorrow it's legs uh, I don't know whenever we're gonna see each other again but don't forget to leave a like subscribe and I will see you guys when I post next time bye bye